Good morning, good morning family, good morning friends, good morning everybody out there. I hope you guys are doing great on this particular uh, moment. Yeah, um, so this is, uh, I want you to take this video as, as a reality check, just to look at yourself based on the fact that, you know, when we started this uh, particular year, 2020, we all had resolutions and plans for this particular year. There are certain things that we wanted to achieve, that we want to achieve at the end of the of the year. There are certain changes that we want to put in place, you know. There are certain things we want to give up on. There are certain things that we want to, you know, have uh, put in place. There's so much that we have for this particular year. And it's been like three months in the year now. So this video is basically a reality check to just look at yourself and see whether things are moving according to the plan. And if things are moving according to the plan, then that's that's a really a good sign. Keep up, uh, keep up with the good spirit, and keep up with the you know fighting spirit, and make sure that I, this continues until the end of the year. But on the other hand, if things are not moving according to the plan, then this is the time to just you know freeze a little bit, take a step back, and look at yourself and see where uh, things are not going according to the plan and then try to think of how you can patch up the gaps and see if really you can manage to do that and then even as you're looking at things from that perspective the other important thing that should really be in your background is ask yourself a question of saying do i have huge plans or the question is question your resolutions are they something that are, that is practical for the particular year uh, the reason you want to do that sometimes you know we basically sometimes we just you know have you know resolutions and plans that are way beyond our capacity and that's not really a good thing you know it's it's good to dream and think big but there's a limit in every system as far as this uh, universe is concerned there are just certain things that cannot happen because the laws of nature do not apply I mean do not allow such a thing to happen. So this is a possibility that you would want to look at so that you can try to adjust your resolutions and plans for this particular year and get something that is really uh, going to be useful, something that you can manage to do. Yeah, having said that, the, the main point of this video is just try to look at yourself and look at whether it's, it's going to be you adjusting uh, your plans or it's going to be you you know holding on to what you're doing pushing forward and challenging yourself more so that you can you know do better or it's going to be you looking at yourself and discovering that there are some certain things that you're not doing and you need to you know maybe make some sacrifices so that you can attain your goal and the reason why this is important it's because it's not worth living our lives without targets because if we do not have targets, we won't be able to measure our life. And what I mean by measuring is, I mean, we will not be able to, you know, have a reference to see whether we are developing as human beings in our lives or not. So it's, it, it becomes very important for somebody to, you know, have targets in life uh, because that acts as a reference. The moment you achieve certain goals in your life, it tells you you're improving as a person. And you ought to improve as a person. Because you can't just be the same two, three years, you know, down the line. There's no change in your life. That doesn't make sense. You ought to grow. Because the more you grow, the more you learn as a person, the more you get exposed to different things. You know, it opens your eyes. And that puts you in a position to be able to contribute more to society. Because at the end of the day, everything we do is about contributing to society. We are born different for a reason. This is one thing we should understand as human beings. We are here for each other. We are here for one another. We are not here for ourselves. Of course, that's the nature that we have as human beings. We always think about ourselves, which is natural because that's how we are born. But a person that begins to understand that they are not here for themselves only, but they are here for the other people. That's the reason why we have the family system. Because... That's how also nature demands. It demands that people come together, share ideas, share, you know, everything so they can grow together. Because we are different with different abilities. 
So we exist to elevate each other. So this is a very important thing. And uh, the summary of this video is understand uh, one thing. You are here not only for you, but for the other person as well. So it becomes very important for you to look at yourself. Make sure that you elevate yourself to a position where you can be there for that other person. Because that other person, if he, does the, if he or she does the same, they are going to put themselves in a place where they are also uh, capable of doing something for you. Then at the end of the day, all of us as society will be on the same page, you know, growing together. Uh, m making sure that we are all living a life that is worth living. So I just hope you got, uh, you learned something from this video. And thank you so much for your time. And I just want to say thank you so much for the support. And uh, may God bless you. Have a good day. Thank you.